When it comes to technology, there's often two products that go head to head in a fight for dominance. There's Amazon Echo versus Google Home, Xbox One X up against PlayStation 4 Pro, and of course, PC versus Mac. But when it comes to premium smartphones, right now it doesn't get any bigger than iPhone X and Samsung Galaxy's Note 8. So which one reigns supreme? Hey everyone, welcome to Gear Up, the Watch Mojo series that looks at the latest in gadgets, gear, and games. I'm Mark Saltzman, and in this video, we're going to pit Apple's iPhone X up against Samsung's Galaxy Note 8. Let's see which device comes out on top between two rivals and their respective flagship devices. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 1. Let's start off with design. Both the iPhone X and Galaxy Note 8 have a thin and tall body, almost an edge-to-edge -edge screen, no home button, and the iPhone X has a slightly wider design and more rounded edges. The iPhone X has that stupid notch at the top of the screen where the camera and some sensors are. Even though Samsung has an 83% screen-to-body ratio, which is slightly more than the iPhone X's 81.5% screen-to-body ratio, Samsung does have bigger bezels at the top and bottom than the iPhone X. Galaxy Note 8 is also relatively heavy at 195 grams, compared to only 174 grams with the iPhone X. Both phones are sleek with premium materials, and they both come in a couple of different color options. They're both waterproof, though Samsung pulls ahead here with an IP68 rating over Apple's IP67. The back of the devices are similar, but iPhone X has a pretty pronounced camera bump, while the Galaxy Note 8 does not. Underneath the phones, Samsung has its USB-C slot, headphone jack, and stylus pen tucked inside. Apple loses marks for ditching the 3.5mm headphone jack, forcing users to go wireless or use an adapter to plug into the lightning connector. Overall, on design, Samsung wins. Next up, screens. Both the Galaxy Note 8 and iPhone X have stunning OLED displays for better contrast, brightness, and more vivid colors. In fact, Apple makes the OLED screen for Apple. Samsung's is a little bigger at 6.3 inches compared to iPhone X's 5.8 inch display. Both iPhone X and Samsung screens are slightly curved around the edges. The Note 8 also has greater pixel density at 521 pixels per inch compared to iPhone X's 458 pixels per inch. They have similar aspect ratios though at 18.5 by 9 for Samsung and closer to 19.5 by 9 for Apple. Color reproduction is comparable between the two phones, but Apple does edge ahead in the brightness department. For screens, it's a virtual tie between iPhone X and Galaxy Note 8. Number 3. Interface Both touchscreen phones heavily utilize gestures, taps, flicks, and pinches. Plus, you can swipe in with your thumb on the edge of the Note 8 to access Apps Edge and People Edge for quick access to applications and people by swiping in on the side iPhone X has no fingerprint sensor, so the only biometrics is Face ID, which is secure and fast, but not foolproof. Samsung has a retina scan, facial scan, and fingerprint sensor on the back. When it comes to personal assistance, Apple has Siri, and Samsung has Bixby and Google Assistant. And speaking of interface, the Note 8 also has a Samsung S Pen, a high-tech stylus tucked underneath the device for when you want greater precision. Also, with Samsung, you can truly multitask by pinning two apps on the screen at once, like watching a video on the bottom of the device while browsing the web on top. With any iPhone, you can't have two side-by-side -side apps or one on top of the other, but iPhone has 3D touch, which is great. The winner in the interface department, though, is the Galaxy Note 8. Number 4. Speeds and Feeds How does the iPhone X compare to the Note 8 when it comes to the processor? iPhone X's A11 Bionic chip does outperform Samsung's Snapdragon 835, but both are blazingly fast, which is what you'd expect in a $1,000 plus smartphone. But Samsung pulls ahead of Apple when it comes to system memory at 16 gigs of RAM, which is double what iPhone X has under the hood at 3 gigs. When it comes to storage, there's a 64 gigabyte version of iPhone X to go up against Samsung's 64 gig model, the only one available but Apple does have a 256 gig storage model too. But with Samsung, you can add an inexpensive micro SD memory card. So Samsung still ends up as the winner here. But when you look at the processor, memory and storage specs, it's basically a tie. Plus Samsung's Galaxy Note 8 offers faster cellular speeds over iPhone 10. Number five, cameras. Another tough category for the two as they both fare very well. 
Between photo and video quality, speed and shooting options, both iPhone X and Samsung Galaxy Note 8 do very well. Both have dual cameras on the back, a pair of 12 megapixel sensors, one telephoto and one wide angle, and both lenses have optical image stabilization, fast autofocus and great low light performance. Both devices can do great depth of field shots or a bokeh effect for portraits when the background is blurred behind the subject. But Samsung lets you adjust the amount of blur with a slider bar. Plus, when it takes a photo, it saves both a wide angle and telephoto image to choose from, even after the fact. Colors are bolder on iPhone X, but Note 8 seems to produce warmer shots. Both have high dynamic range or HDR support, and both can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. When playing back video, audio quality is better through Apple's speakers than Samsung's. And on the front-facing camera, Apple's True Depth camera is quite amazing, and the Animojis, while gimmicky, is a great idea. Apple and Samsung are tied when it comes to camera quality and features. Some things are better with Apple, while other features are dominated by Samsung. Number 6. Battery Life Apple has made some marked improvements over the years to its battery performance, and the iPhone X does win here, by a little. Even with Samsung's bigger battery, a 3300 milliamp battery, compared to Apple's 2700 milliamp, iPhone X manages to squeeze in another 30 minutes or so, according to many benchmark tests by third parties. Keep in mind though, Samsung also has its always-on display that shows you things like the time, power, calendar appointments, missed calls, notes and more, but it doesn't consume much power. Both phones support wireless charging, but Samsung's device charges up much faster than the iPhone X. When it comes to battery life, speed of charging, and wireless support, Apple and Samsung are tied. Alright, let's wrap up with the conclusion and declare a winner. It should be noted there are other similarities between these two devices, including number of apps, call quality, mobile payment support, and so on, and they do each have their own pros and cons. Even on the operating system level, Android has many benefits over iOS and the other way around. Any way you slice it, the Note 8 is the best Samsung phone ever created, while the iPhone 10 is the best iPhone money can buy. But when push comes to shove, the winner goes to Samsung. The Galaxy Note 8 is a better device overall, though iPhone 10 outshines the Note 8 in a couple of areas. Hey, thanks for watching Gear Up. I'm Mark Saltzman. Let us know in the comments section what you think about iPhone 10 versus the Galaxy Note 8. Do you agree with our winner? Why or why not? And for more tech-tastic lists, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Ciao for now. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.